Salutations, friends. Said Stevie here, and um, got some packages. And so I figured, you know, uh, why not uh, open them on up and uh, ramble? Uh, that's pretty much all I do here on this channel. So um, let's keep it going. Uh, but first, uh, I'm going to wet my whistle uh, with some coffee. Black like my soul, uh, like I love it. Um, drinking out of my some dude cup. You see uh, Matisfaction, the Squirrel King. Uh, you got said Stevie there. And you got Pocket Metal. And you got... Uh, uh, Grumpy Grunt, shout out to some dude, and uh, shout out to uh, Papa and Mama Rhino, who actually uh, made uh, this cup, uh, put his artwork, some dude's artwork on there, so uh, shout out to all you mofos. Uh, first one, I'm going to open, uh, I started to already open this, um, and then I was like, no, 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 hold the phone, uh, record it, dummy, um. Not that I have to, but, you know, that's kind of what I do, like I said. Uh, and the unboxing uh, knife uh, that I'm using today is the uh, Kershaw uh, Dividend. This is typically my truck knife, uh, and I um, had it out for a uh, recent uh, video that I just shot, and that's what's to my immediate right, so that's what we're going to be using. But um, I did uh, already start to slice into this. Uh, this is from... Uh, Semper Fi EDC guy, uh, my homie Vince. Um, I don't know what this is, and I don't even know if I should be uh, opening it up on um, uh, video, but I'm going to. Um, all right, this has my uh, address on here, so I don't want to uh, show that. Um, there it is, and it's got a note. And so I'm gonna read this uh, off camera real quick. Um, holy moly. Uh, this uh, comes as a complete surprise. A complete uh, surprise. And um, wow. So uh, during the Jason Brown um, memorial raffle drawing uh, during my live stream we ended up doing some uh, auctions afterwards and uh, one of the knives that was up for auction uh, was something that I started to bid on but Mr. Ed Harrison was on a terror and outbid me but uh, Ed being the awesome guy that he was so Vince Put up a knife. And um, Ed uh, bid on it. And he outbid me. And I, I, I really wanted it. And uh, Vince uh, got in touch with Ed uh, to send it to him. And Ed apparently said uh, to send this to me instead. Which is awesome. Um, that hits me in the feels. Uh, one stipulation. I must keep it forever. And remember that he loves you. As a friend. <laughs> um, man. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, this is a custom uh, sack made by uh, Beaver Blade Works. Uh, this is just a, a single uh, bladed uh, sack. You see, uh, you got the uh, Skull Punisher-ish uh, logo uh, there. Um, acid etched on the blade. Uh, it says that this has a lifetime warranty. And uh, reach out to them if I have uh, any issues. But, man, uh, this is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, yeah. Shout out to Semper Fi EDC guy uh, for uh, willing to put that up for auction. Um, and shout out to uh, Ed Harrison. Wow. Uh, thank you, Ed. Uh, I'm going to be getting in touch with you uh, here soon, uh, brother. Whew. Um, let's keep this going. Um, what do we got here? Uh, okay. 
Uh, this comes from a Zug Monster. Uh, let's just use this uh, sack to uh, uh, keep things going. Let's get that uh, Kershaw out of there. Uh, um, they recently, Zug Monster recently had a sale on some stickers. And uh, we are all running low on EDC Roundtable stickers. So uh, I ordered some uh, EDC Roundtable stickers. And this time I got them with the uh, Easy Peel tab. So uh, those go out in all EDC Roundtable orders. I'm going to be sending these out to my uh, EDC Roundtable brothers. Um, uh, so they can keep including them as well. Uh, it's just, this is a nice segue. Uh, speaking of uh, EDC Roundtable uh, Brothers, uh, this comes from Jack's Lungs. Uh, I think I know what this is. Uh, for sure, it's some uh, Janky Jake's uh, pocket jewelry. And uh, that's exactly what this is. Um, but uh, Jake... I'm horrible with remembering what materials uh, he uses, but um, looks like uh, I got some of uh, Jake's new uh, stickers. He went from these little itty bitty guys to uh, these ones here. Uh, those are really cool. Uh, that's awesome, man. Uh, thank you, uh, Jack's lungs. Um, those are dope. Uh, I got a few here that are gonna. I'm gonna uh, keep a couple for myself and then include those in some uh, giveaways. But look at this. So he knows I love uh, uh, burlap micarta. So that's clearly uh, burlap micarta on there. I don't know what uh, that's sandwiched in between. And then, man, um, I don't know what micarta this is. But this thing is, the finish on this is awesome. This is great. Um, Jake just keeps knocking it out of the park with uh, the stuff that he's able to produce. Um, he's going to be dropping some more uh, uh, pocket jewelry on EDC Roundtable uh, here uh, shortly. So be on the lookout for that. Um, there's always a link to the EDC roundtable in uh, the description of my uh, all videos. Be on the lookout and also uh, follow uh, Jack's Lungs on uh, Instagram. I'll try to put that in the description as well. A dude has, and I've said this for a long time, long before uh, he was even a member of the EDC roundtable. Uh, the dude has some of the best photos on Instagram, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so, uh, shout out, uh, Jack's Lungs. And now, uh, something that I've been, uh, really eagerly anticipating, uh, this is an Apex, uh, pass-around knife. Uh, this comes, uh, from, uh, the homie, uh, Mattis Faction. Uh, he had it last. Uh, this is a knife that I'm sure a bunch of you have uh, seen already. Uh, this is not going to be a full review. Uh, this is just going to be a uh, first impressions. But, uh, boom. The Factor. Uh, this is from uh, Winter Blade Co. The Factor. Yes. Yes. Um, I have handled uh, one of these before uh, back at uh, Blade Show Atlanta, but there you go, folks. Boom. Uh, this is a different uh, variant than I had uh, handled before. Uh, looks like it's got a carbon fiber scale, and then I, I believe that's my Carta on there. I don't know what uh, that backspacer type deal is, but uh, green on the buttons and whatnot. But uh, Magnetic Knife ugh, failed on the first one. What the heck? Bing! Look at that. Just that ring that you get with these. Why am I having problems with this on uh, the... Am I 
I can't do the... Hmm. There we go. Yeah, uh, the Winter uh, Blades uh, Factor. This thing is pretty, pretty gnarly here. Um, you just hear that ting. Um, this is a, a lot of people's most, you know, coolest knife of the year. Um, I'm having problems uh, actuating it, though. Hmm. I got to get more acquainted with this knife. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is, I think, one of the most talked about knives of the year. You guys tired of uh, seeing uh, everyone uh, show this off yet? I know I'm one of the last in line to uh, check this out. So, I don't know. Uh, I got to get used to this. Maybe it's just, it's freezing cold out right now. It's only uh, 38 degrees out here in my garage and my hands are a little cold. Maybe that has something to do with it, but yeah, I'm trying to get a good ting out of it. There you go. Winter Blade M390 on the blade steel. This is a uh, definitely an, an interesting uh, variant here. Um, it just. It not just tings, but it like reverbs. Like you can hear it. I'm not. I had better luck with this when I handled it at Blade Show. I had no problems with it. Um, I'm having problems actuating this thing. Hmm. Maybe this is a prototype. I don't know, but um, yeah. Got to get acquainted with this knife a little bit more because off of all that um, right now, I thought this was a knife that I wanted uh, based on the way I'm handling this one. I have no interest in this knife at this point. Um, it's just me, but if I can't actuate it all that and it's it's starting to hurt my uh, forefinger already. Um, I thought I was interested in this knife, but based on this right now, look at that. Maybe it's just because it's been passed around so much. I have zero interest in this knife right now. <laughs> um, at all. Uh, I gotta say, um, I gotta figure out uh, what's up. But yeah, uh, this is not like the one that I handled at Blade Show that I can remember. But you see that? Um, I mean, yeah, if I just try to middle finger flick it and then uh, use this, uh, that's no problem. But if I try to actually use this the push button i can't do it and it, it my finger seriously hurts my uh index finger already hurts so um i don't know uh first impressions of this are again i guess if i just middle finger flick this and don't ever try to actuate it using this here then it's fine but um not as uh, interesting as I uh, once thought it was. So, anywho, uh, that's all I got for you folks. Um, appreciate you following along. And uh, check everyone out that I mentioned in the uh, uh, video here in the description. And until the next one, I bid you mofos a deuces.